Mini GPT-4 is pretty cool. It can describe images, generate recipes from images, and even make websites from an image. It's just like the GPT-4 demo that we have seen a month ago, but GPT-4 is not available yet. Mini GPT-4 is completely open source. You can play with it right now. And it only took 10 hours to train this model. So let's take a look together. <laughs> Okay, let's first of all take a look at the demo. Upload and start chat. This step is taking a while. Okay, so now we can start chat with mini GPT. Let's ask it to describe this image. Okay, now you can see the description of this image, which looks really, really good. This image shows a woman with pink feathers on her face and a flamingo on her shoulder. So now let's take a look at the mini GPT-4 paper and see exactly how this model is made. Here is the underlying architecture of mini GPT-4. We have an image here that feeds into a pre-trained model components of a visual model. And then we have a single linear projection layer that projects the visual features to the language model. The language model here, we have Vicuna, which is also open source. The language model accepts the format of the prompt human, the output of this single linear projection layer, the question that we may ask, and here's the format assistant, and then we get the output right here. The logo design is simple and minimalistic. It looks pretty simple. It just combines pre-trained language model with pre-trained visual model, plus a single linear projection layer on top of the visual model. The visual encoder is a BLIMP2 with the VIT and also the pre-trained Qformer. If you're interested, you can take a look. Uh, and then it uses the linear projection layer we just talked about. There are two parts in their training process. The first stage is the pre-training stage. So in this stage, they used a combined data set of the conceptual caption, SBU and Leon, 5 million image text pairs. This pre-training stage only took about 10 hours to complete and used 4 A120 GPUs. Right. So it's not a huge effort. It's only 10 hours to train this model. Incredible, right? However, there is an issue with this training step. So they were struggling to produce coherent linguistic output, such as generating words or sentences, fragmented sentences, or irre irrelevant content. So the stage two is fine tuning. Before they fine tune the model, they need to have a better quality data set. This is how they get this data set. They use the model that they got from the first pre-training stage, so the not so perfect model, to generate a comprehensive description of a given image. This is the prompt they used, the image features, which is the visual features produced by the linear projection layer. Describe the image in detail, give us as many details as possible, and the assistant will produce the description. If it's less than 80 tokens, and then the human will ask assistant to continue, and we will just combine the outputs from those two steps and create a more comprehensive image description. This way, they were able to select 5,000 images and generate corresponding language description for those 5,000 images. The next step is quite interesting. They used ChatGPT to refine the description. They used ChatGPT to fix the error, remove any repeating sentences, meaningless characters, basically rewriting and refine the 5,000 image descriptions. In the end, they were able to get 3,500 high quality image text pairs satisfied with their requirements. And now we can refine their pre-trained model with those uh, high quality image text pairs. And as a result, mini GPT-4 now is able to produce more natural and reliable responses. The fine tuning step only took seven minutes with a single A100 GPU. Wow. So that's the architecture and two training stages. I want to show you the data set that they end up having. So I downloaded the data. So we have all the images here. This is image number two, and we have this filter cap JSON file, which provides all the descriptions of the images. And then you can see the description of the image here. The image shows a man fishing on the lawn next to a river with a bridge in the background. 
Trees can be seen on the other side of the river, and the sky is cloudy. I don't see any sky, but other than that, everything is very accurate. So that's the data set. And finally, you can check out their GitHub page. Everything is open source, and they have instructions on how to get started using their code. Yeah, so that's Mini GPT. I just got excited when I saw this project, uh, and I thought I would share. Hope you find it helpful. See you next time. Bye.